First time a violent crime dashboard to track death investigation across the state now exists. This is all thanks to research done and a team at ASU. The goal is to help police departments, medical examiners, journalists and the public better understand the scope of these investigations, particularly homicides. And the creators of this say they are already seeing some trends. Our true crime correspondent Brianna Whitney has been checking this out. Uh, Brianna, a lot of lines, a lot of figures. How does yeah. this work? I'm not usually doing graphs and things in my story, so this is interesting. Yeah. I always think it's cool when there's a new true crime tool at our disposal. So we're all kind of learning together on this, but it's really interesting. There's a lot of information packed into this dashboard, and what's cool is you can kind of scroll down like this. You can do different drop downs, there's different graphs you can see, and you can tailor it to the exact information that you want to learn when you want to learn it. That means you can search manner of death, victim age or race or where it happened. Often it can take months, if not years, to learn crime info or statistics from police agencies. This ASU team is trying to change that. Stats, graphs, bars and charts. It's a new online tool for the most comprehensive information on death investigations in Arizona, tailored to what you want to see. But these aren't just stats. They represent victims and people behind the scenes. After you read through a couple thousand pages, it's going to hit home. Uh, these are real people that are experiencing real problems throughout their life. Professor Charles Katz teaches in the ASU School of Criminology and Criminal Justice and has led the work on this new Arizona Violent Death Reporting System dashboard, now up and running. We request information related to deaths, uh, uh, death investigations, autopsies, as well as um, uh, toxicology reports. Here's just an example of what you can do. Choose a manner of death, let's say homicide, then narrow down even farther if you want to see trends for how many have happened in the state each year and who the victims are when it comes to race, sex, and ethnicity. Or want to see what homicides have happened in the city or county you live in? You can search that as well. But it is very clear that we have some hot spots related to homicide and suicide, uh, both. What we're moving towards is trying to identify those communities and then we would like to work with some of the key stakeholders to make sure that those communities are receiving the resources that they need to prevent some of the gun violence. He says their team of researchers and ASU students have to go through an extensive process to get the data to the dashboard. Take a look at this. They start by getting data from the state, then go to medical examiner's offices across our counties to verify deaths. Then take that to police agencies to get case reports and details. They then send that to a portal with the CDC and eventually get back info to share on the dashboard. We do think it's, it's important that more people start to learn about some of these things. And Professor Katz says right now the info on the dashboard is from 2015 to 2022. But as they continue on with this technology, they hope and plan to have data as close to real time as possible. He also said many of the students who have helped work on this and they're in their criminology program have gone on to have careers in law enforcement. So they're taking what they learned at school and applying it to the real world. Yeah, it seems like good training. So I know a lot of the focus is on homicides, but have they yeah. detected any other trends with this data? Yes, yeah, so they're looking at it right now, compiling everything. One of the trends that they found in homicides and really any of the death investigations was that the guns that are being used mm -hmm. are more often than not stolen. That's something that they're learning from the police reports. They want to take that, they want to analyze it and then share it with their stakeholders on how can we do better, provide resources and make a change there. Mm -hmm. But just in its infancy, that's one trend they have been able to identify. It'll be interesting to see what other trends they identify as it continues mm -hmm. and right. continue to learn more. It's fascinating. Yeah, though. I know it, it really is, but it's yeah. also, also cool for us. I mean, right. we're trying to compile data a lot for our stories that we do, and sometimes it's hard or we're waiting a long time to get information yeah. or statistics from the police department. So this is a really cool opportunity for all of us to, to share with our viewers right. as we put things into perspective with our stories going forward. The more you know. Brianna, more you know. Thank yeah. you.